you know, these are, these are projects that we are planning to do in the future in the sense like uh, with garbage. I mean, yes, of course, uh, in any other part of the world, garbage is uh, uh, an asset. First of all, we didn't have a permanent garbage dump in place. And that was one of the major issues we had. And this is probably why, you know, we had to, you know, face the disaster. So we are now looking at waste to energy projects. The Honorable Prime Minister uh, have now found a permanent dump in place in Putlam in Aruavalu. Uh, and also, you know, we'll be doing different types of uh, uh, projects uh, such as what I was talking about. And um, we can also have a few incinerators within the city and, uh, you know, uh, uh, dispose of garbage uh, within the city. Or oh, definitely there has to be regulations because I don't think the city can hold the kind of construction that has uh, come up. And there is a lot of uh, uh, illegal, uh, improper construction that have come up which are which are going to be a hazard. And uh, besides, I must say, even if you talk about the sewer lines, the wastewater lines uh, are very archaic. You know, 50 years ago, these lines were laid. And today it is about time, like you said, you know, construction have come up, the infrastructure has developed, the population has increased, but we don't have the capacity to serve this population. And in the 10 year plan, we have, you know, physical development, plus, you know, we're talking about all these uh, other, like, you know, giving basically uh, 50,000 houses to people and basically creating the infrastructure, laying the, the, the foundation for whether it's the sewer lines, whether it's the uh, wastewater lines, these will be projects that will be done in, in stages. For the slightest rain, Colombo goes underwater and it becomes a, such a health asset. Housing will be one of the key areas that we'll be concentrating uh, on because for the last 25 years, we haven't had uh, you know, a housing um, coming up for the underserved settlements uh, in the city, simply because the central government was not ours and uh, the Colombo city has always been the uh, stronghold of the United National Party. This is our heart, so we've always got stepmotherly treatment. So this is time for us to now, you know, go into major construction, major development uh, with regards to, you know, serving the people with their basic uh, rights. Of course, there are ways and means in how you make projects profitable, you know, we'll be looking into all those aspects. We need to uh, improve upon their livelihood, uh, at, you know, programs and avenues and we need to basically give them training uh, programs you need to find find them you know uh, finances you know financing uh, even to do a self-employment even if a woman wants to you know get into the catering business do it from her home so we need to be in power because the landscape in you know, Colombo is going to change drastically with the port city being uh, you know up into uh, in the 20s so we need to be in power. We cannot have, you know, basically stepmotherly treatment. And also there'll be uh, a lot of job opportunities created with the Port City coming up. And we need to, get, you know, um, equip our children to take on those job opportunities. Of course, that is one of our major promises that I've given uh, with regards to the, you know, the roads and also the congestion. Government at this point of time is planning this major flyover from the Kalini Bridge to the fort, fort to the port, port to linking up to Rajagiriya. And then we will have basically underground transport, uh, we'll have canal transport. We are, we are planning some mega uh, projects with the mega police ministry. Dengue is one of the biggest um, uh, hazards that we are faced with. I must say, first of all, we are also looking at you know, creating new apps. Uh, in order to you know, uh, address the dengue issue. For everything you can you know, use smartness. Um, then we will also eradicate the dengue mosquito. You know, if the city is clean, if the city is environmentally friendly, uh, you know, it, our job is going to be easier for us with regards to all this health hazard, you know. So creating proper sanitation, doing what we have to do to clean the city, make it a smart city, a brand new city. Uh, this is why my tag is Balagatu Alut Kolambak. So we need to, you know, be a very powerful, a brand new Colombo. And also, I want the citizens' uh, participation. So participatory citizens are a must, in my opinion. I want stakeholders from the, the, the citizens to be in some of the committees. You know, we have six wards in the Colombo Municipal Area. So it might be broken into six wards and have town hall meetings where the general public can, you know, come and, you know, state their grievances, their likes, their dislikes, their suggestions. We are open to all that. They can also you know, if somebody has done something wrong, if somebody has asked for a bribe, if somebody has, you know, basically harassed a person and that person had to get one job done, go six or four times, they can, you know, name and shame the person right in front of us, you know. 
You know, I'm very confident that I'll win. The Colombo municipality is untouchable. It's uh, the UMP stronghold. This is, this is our heart. Uh, we have never lost these five seats. So winning is um, uh, not an issue. But I want to win comfortably so that I don't have to, you know, draw an alliance with somebody else and make compromises at the end of the day. And on the list, I have some real professionals uh, who would be fantastic uh, and who would encourage also the general public to be uh, part of the system and to, so we'll have think tanks, we'll have stakeholders from the private sector, from the general public, uh, from the citizens, the residents uh, and I'm looking forward to the challenge.